Ah, the sounds of the air conditioner. And welcome back, everyone, to some more Let's Play Aether Genesis New Horizons modded. In the last episode, we began our attempt to take whatever shard number this is, whose name I even forget. But here we are, and we have conquered most of the surrounding land so far. We have a level 4 scout, Skilad, almost level 5, and we've got Nesters as a almost level 2 wizard. And it is turn 18! That is amazing that we have these two heroes out and about immediately. Go us! Things are looking pretty good. We also have found an archery store here in our starting province. We have a sorcery store located nearby and a tanner store over here. Perfect! Perfect for a archer and or a druid to be built with. This is really good to have such close by equipment shops. We also have a knowledge store over here and we have a quest to beat up the knowledge store at some point if we, wa if we want to make the attempt in order to complete a quest. So there's that too. So yes, yeah, so I don't know, these are looking, these are looking pretty good. These are looking pretty good. We don't have access at the moment to these two provinces. There they are. They're going to be a little tough for us to take, as they are tier 2. This one especially, Deadly Swamps. But I'm interested in securing the Mandrake route and the wood. What else is there? Our income is looking pretty good. We've got 48 bucks per turn and 8 gems per turn. That's respectable. Especially considering that Skirud has been leveling up well so far with 3 command. Uh, sorry, 2 command and some health. Looks like magic will probably be next for him. Otherwise, yeah, things are things are looking good. It's looking good. Now I need to decide what we're doing with our armies. Skirit has a quest to kill lizardmen, and I saw some lizardmen here, but I want to delay my attacking of them for a little bit longer. Oh right, we also found some nomad arrows, which is phenomenal. That's really really nice. That would play nicely with the nomad bow that's for sale at the archery store here, completing the set and giving us an extra four ammo for his use. Though I would lose plus one range, I think, if I did buy that bow. Still, it's a it's definitely an option. Oh, didn't we get uh like some boots? We did get some boots. We got some leather overshoes. I'm surprised I remembered that. So let's give these to you, sir. Give you a few more hit points. And you don't need any of those quite yet. Nesters, you don't need them either. Alright, so what's next? Nesters, your army's okay, and you are okay, so we should consider doing a battle with you. But there is nothing here you can easily kill. Hmm. I was not planning on taking shock, so that would mean the ancient crypt is actually going to be rather difficult for us to complete. We do, however, have an exorcism spell. But you have to be a higher level, Nesters, to use it. Actually, no, you don't. We have, we could put it right here where Metric Spark currently is. Ah. Without any other willpower, though, we'll need more than just that to defeat the Black Knight that will be in that group. How much damage does Exorcism do? Let's take a quick peek. 16 points of damage. The Dark Knight tends to have roughly like 33 hit points. So... That will not be useful at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry, it will be useful, but it won't let us win. We need something else besides that spell. Which I don't have at the moment, Nestor. So not... You can't do that at the moment. What's over here? Uh, might be able to kill the demonologists. Would be tricky. Slugs, minotaurs. Alcaro slugs. Adventurers. You could probably kill the adventurers. Although, it will still be tough. We'll have you stay, sit here, Nestor, and explore. Skilad. 
You can probably kill the demonologist we saw, and the slave drivers are probably killable by you. You can't kill slugs yet until we get a better bow. We could when he gets to Centaurus, but it will be tough. So I think we'll send you over here, and you'll fight demonologists, battle mages, necromancers, a gang of robbers. You probably can kill all of those things. So let's send you out that way. I think we built something at home. We did not build something at home. So I need to consider what other spell schools I am taking. I'm thinking we want the Nature's Cloister. We will eventually want this, but I can hold off building this at the moment. Yeah, we'll hold off building that. We won't build a building at the moment. Let's just end our turn. Are you, are you sure, Tim? Is there no cheap buildings? Not until... Well, I guess we'll, we'll build the forge. Well, explore the province of Ritual. The hero Nestor has found an old mansion. Let's examine it. The hero Nestor approaches the secluded mansion. The inhabitants of the province tell all kinds of horror stories about it that do not seem unfounded. Scouting has revealed that the building is currently inhabited, yet there is no one particularly alive. Three enemies, Lord of Darkness, Skeleton of Doom. This could be doable if I built the sanctuary, but not for Nestor's at the moment. We will retreat. That's, it's now becoming more and more tempting to build this structure. We could build and use the Nature's Cloister. And at this rank, use the Summon Nature spell to populate your army with creatures that would benefit your druid. So that I definitely want. We've already built the Illusionist's Guild. I would have access to two more schools. One could be the Sanctuary, and the other could be one of these two. I'm liking the sound of that. We've gotten so far without needing the Sanctuary, which means it's always tempting for me to build a different school. But given these undead that we're seeing, Shock would be so helpful. Of course, a Lightning Bolt would also work. Do I have access to Tier... Th I don't think I have access to any Tier 3 spell schools yet, do I? It's a Sphere of Stone, nothing there. Temple of Life, nothing there. School of Necromancy, Necromancer's Guild. Nothing there. Yeah, I don't think I have access to any Tier 3 structure. Uh, spell school. Not yet. Okay, so, hmm. I can still delay. I can still delay. That's why you keep exploring. Skirod, let's throw you in here and do a battle against the battle mages. I think you can beat them more easily than any of the others. That will also level you, and then we'll decide what to do based upon what you get for a, for a stat point. It'll probably be magic would be my guess. We'll, oh, can't build, can't build, can't build, can't build. Let's build a farmer's market. I don't see horses anywhere around, so I'll feel a little less, um, not guilty is the wrong word, but I don't have the excuse to wait until I have, I, t I see horses. And we can start building mills to help our income a little more. A bandit horde. Let's have you examine that, Nesters. Five enemies. Brigand, thief, and a renegade.
Not with your current spell list. You can't win that fight. Five enemies, sh Shaman and Sorcerers. Skiard should be able to, we to beat this without too much trouble. So you have Swamp Knowledge. Let's put you on in the front. And let's start. Darn him, starting in the woods. We can kill any of the shaman. guys up to kill this Narna. Ooh, didn't quite kill him. Just like that, his range attack is now greatly reduced. Oh, you'll you'll pay for that, sir. Ooh, all level sixes and sevens there too. Interesting. Plus one magic, which is what I thought we'd get. And I think we will take that plus one range with Marshmanship 3. You, sir, have only 10 morale, but I might not. Let's grab a point of resistance. Resistance. Stamina. Morale. Another phantom form. Dispel magic. So this is not so good of a reward. 195 and 11. Still, it was an easy fight. Well done, Skilad. You're halfway to level 6. Let's keep you here and do another fight. So let's throw you in against a demonologist this time. Nesters, you can keep exploring. You know, let's... Hmm. Lightning would be useful too. I know Shock does so much good damage against the undead. Is there anything Nestor's can kill, Tim? I, mean, I know we just looked at everything, everyone. I'm, I apologize for this, but I just want to make absolutely sure there's nothing he can kill. There is the Adventurers. He might be able to kill the Alcarol as well, but that would be tricky. He needs more point of command. No, we'll just have him keep exploring. Um, at home... I will eventually get the wood, so I don't really need wood at the moment. I think I do want the recruiting station, so we'll, let's just build this. Give us access to the barracks in the future. That's fine. We can't take the goblin province quite yet. 50% explored. Imp, spawn, and demonologist. Yep, Skirud is correct. Enemy is doomed. I think we'll immediately hit him. 
Nice, nice. He's not gonna get to summon anything. Not until he at least uses his, uh, his range attack to heal himself once, which is fine with me. That guy does have enraged, so I don't want to hit him with it yet. Can I kill this imp with a bunch of attacks? I think I can. Three and three. Move you up and heal you. Oh, thought for sure we'd kill him. Should have checked. That was a lot of damage. And I, you're hexed, so I can't, uh, I can't do anything there. Let's move you two like this to protect him. Plus one more magic, and we will grab Diplomacy one. Take a counterattack. Resistance metal. Let's give you that. That's not so easy to get. Well done, sir. For, taking all, for getting beat the hell up. I think we'll give you a counterattack. Sleep spell. Round shield. A third hero might be useful to make a warrior because we, now we have an item for them. 170 and 14. Skirod, you have a heavily damaged unit. And you have two free spell slots. It's very tempting to pull you back home. It's so tempting that we'll do it. And that says, yep, we keep exploring. We'll... I don't really need the barracks. Let's build the theater. It's very expensive. But marble isn't something that's on the horizon for me. That will also help with the population unhappiness, their mood, and will help me in the future when I conquer the goblins. I cannot build any other buildings quite yet. The Nestor has completely explored the province of Ritual. There is not an acre of uncharted land here. Golden Comfort's province has increased by two. He is leveled up. Oh, and I like all of this. We know we will want him to have Wand Master eventually, but there is no wand in store for him at the moment. Although there is a wand in a store for him. I'm thinking we'll grab a point of magic power. Let's take this. Just one point. It's not going to be something I focus on. If I do see one master next, we will grab that. Okay, so... He got the point of command. Let's give you the level four. And we'll send you off to begin exploring... Um... Actually, let's first go to Skirad. And I think we will take a phantom form. Prepare your equipment. We can just vendor this film magic. Hold on to that. Next. This guy is hurt and should rest. For your spells, we'll have you take a phantom the phantom form. There's the brigands, Tim. I think Snatchers can now kill the brigands, actually. Set him in there and have him fight them. And as for spells... I could take a sleep. I'm probably just going to replace it with an exorcism later. Let's take a phantom form instead.
and Skilad. Let's have you fight the lizard men now. You also have an extra spell slot. This is tricky. <laughs> this is tricky because I'm not used to using just the illusion school for all my needs. Take this though. Next turn, I'm gonna walk down here and purchase this free settlement if it's too tough for us to win the fight. That way that way we get access to the wood early on. Um, I don't think I can build any more buildings, right? Oh, we can. We can build a oh, we can build a mill. Five enemies, Nestor's is pretty confident. The hero Nestor's approaches the suspicious building, something vaguely resembling a den of robbers. It looks like the criminals here might be of the most unrespected kind, and it will probably be worth cleaning out this nest of riffraff as quickly as possible. Scouting results, five enemies. Okay. Mostly brigands to boot. Okay. This is going to reduce someone's attack strength. Let's have you... Four counterattack? Sure. objective is just to hold them off, delay them at the moment. Yeah! One point of damage! Good work, sir. Good work. Useful. Have him drain their stamina on him. I can, in fact, I can just have him rest. You need to be a little careful. Move you down and heal you. That was dumb. Should have had him actually it just attack. Rawr. Nice try, sir. But we still win. Gain a little bit more stamina from you. Well done, Nesters. Well done. Plus one hit point. Plus one counter attack. Health plus five. Four gold, we'll give you that medal, sir. Another stamina medal for you, we'll give you that. Uh, vulnerability might, might be useful. 88 bucks and one gem. The hero Skirud has approached a deserted ruins of a city of the ancients. Often an ancient artifact or some treasures hidden by the current occupants of the ruins can be found in such places. Skies revealed that the ancient ruins are not as deserted as they may have appeared at first sight. Five enemies, Skirud is not very confident. I think we can win, but I do agree this will be tricky thanks to their ability to use Intercept. We have a hill. We have several hills. I don't think I really need the hills, though. Let's do this. Okay, as I thought, let's heal here. I think I'm gonna... Oh! I just realized, Phantom Form on one of our healers. 
would be phenomenal. Anyway, uh, I need to worry about what's about to hit me. So if I throw the spear here, we would do six damage, about three. He'd have 16 left. I'm not going to kill him. None of these guys have forced march. I would like to take a hill here. But that person is going to get the living hell beat out of them. And not do anything to them, but make them drain stamina. But it might be worth doing that anyway. They're going to ignore you, though, for the rest of the fight. You're going to die if I leave you there. They're going to all intercept these hits. Sorry, when I need to think about this. Remember, they also have some ranged support. Six more range damage. He'll have six hit points left. You can't even let him take a single hit. Or you're losing this guy. In fact, you'll lose any of them if you let them be surrounded. See us doing this without without a loss at this rate. Mostly because of how I positioned myself. I should have moved my hero one and then fired. Yeah, it's not going to matter, Tim. Wherever you move your unit, you're going to lose him. If I move him here, he'll shoot him. He'll take four damage, have eight hit points left. Then he would charge down. Oh, you might survive. Let's do something like this. And then move you in the way. to stop so many of their meleeers from attacking the same one. We'll clog the line. <laughs> I 
Mr. Healer, I think we have lost you. But you don't have any metal, so that I won't be too upset. In fact, I'm just going to sacrifice you. Think this through, Tim. Think this through. He does nine on the counter attack. If I move him here... They're gonna ignore him for other targets. But you could throw a spear at this guy and lower his range defense by one. I have to do damage, which I don't think I'm going to do, actually, to him with that. From here, attack him, drain some more stamina from him. But then what? This guy, this guy can probably also intercept that hit if he really wants to. But it would mean that he wouldn't take this spot. Move him up. Yep, intercepted. That's fine. His stamina is a little lower. survive both of those and this shot but he's probably going to shoot my healer would be my guess take his ammo from him and force him to charge up. That's... Oh, uh, maybe that would work. And then we try to kill this one. One defense. You would hit him for seven. For six. And he'd hit you back for five. Committed to this. <laughs> nice, Tim. Kept your healer alive. This guy's almost out of stamina. Phantasm form. All right, let's uh, hurt him. Oh darn you! And in an interception. Still alive. Get you in the swamp. Woo! Didn't lose anybody. Holy crap! That was amazing. That was amazing. 49 bucks and all the men dead. Uh, we will give you to morale. We'll give you a counterattack hit point. Uh, sure. When stamina metal, resistance, healing metal, 
Garbage. Garbage. 127 and 10 gems, though, is very nice. Once again, one, I want to mark this battle really quick. Alright, there we go. So, that was very close, but I am glad we won. You can just vendor this and that. Pair. And back up to 631 bucks. I think I will actually build a sanctuary as well. I tried to put it off for as long as I could, but in the end, I want Chalice of Life now, so we can cast that and heal Skirod's army, which is badly hurt. There we go. Now, not so badly hurt. And we can learn some different spells. Take a Bless. I think instead of this Cap's Reflexes, we will grab a Heal. And Skirid will come right down here and try to purchase that for us. It'll take a little bit, though. Nesters, as for you, sir. Hold on to vulnerability at the moment. Your units are also hurt. You have a unit that's hurt, but you'll be okay. I think we will swap out your cat's reflexes for a shock. And we'll drop triple blade for a shock as well. Or do I want to heal? Where are we bringing him is the question, Tim. Hmm, there's nothing there he can kill. The Adventurers? Shocks were useless then, Tim. You wanted your triple blade for that. There's a skeletal pack here. You can probably kill that. Drop the phantom form? Yeah, drop the phantom form. It's gonna be useless. We will take the exorcism now instead. And I think we can win with just that, Nesters. Let's send you up here. And that will do for us. Actually, hold on. Skirud. Maybe we can... No. There... Mm, might be able to kill the things in this catacombs. I think I'd better send you down here and get that, that wood secured. Let's do that. That way we can build a sawmill. Alright, Nesters, we'll have you fight the Skeletal Pack. Skirid, yep, we're heading south. We don't build anything this round because I want the money for the wood. The hero Skirid has entered the province of Rainy Forest. A band of local militia is advancing his direction. Twelve enemies. Militiamen, slinger, spearmen, bowmen, pikemen, swordsmen, veteran spearmen. If we had the ability to lower their their stamina, we might actually be able to win this fight. But not with what he currently has. Let's negotiate. The militia leader addresses the hero. Well, you know, we don't want the war. If you and our mayor come to terms, we make an oath to your lord. I tell you, all fun and good as it should be. But you know, our mayor, he's a real miser. who will want no less than 360 gold coins for this year contract. Our settlement needs the money, you know. What if I pay half as much to you, personally? Lear scratches his head, then smacks his lips, wheels turning. At last he utters swagger swaggerlingly. Well, that I can do. Deal. Oh, there's a necromancer in there. No, we can't kill it. Retreat. A wise shaman has appeared in the province of Falling Stars, Whirlpool, and settled down in a small hut in the swamps. The locals visit him to get medicines for various illnesses, or just for some wise advice. The shaman has committed himself to pay you tribute in crystals. Good news. 
Thank you, sir. All right, Nesters, we're just going to have you explore then. Sorry. Skilud, rebels, and gnolls here. Dwarves! Yes! Skilud, let's go get that alliance started. And now we have wood. So that will make a few things cheaper for us. Let's... Oh, hey, yeah, we can build archers now, too. So, let's... Oh, oh, I built the carpenter shop some time ago. Wow, am I dumb. We could build a sawmill some... A lot earlier. Let's build a sawmill here. And then at home... Oh, uh, the brewery. Plus 10 income. Improves population mood to capital by one. Morale's increased. Population mood and tavern are in by one as well. Mostly it's that plus 10 gold income. We are now up to 75 bucks a turn. Control stones, what turn is it? 25. Still early game. Not bad. The hero Skirad has started to climb the steep slopes of the province of Fang Banks. Suddenly, he can hear guttural singing coming from somewhere above. Soon, the cause of the noise comes into view. A party of dwarves is marching towards the hero in parade step, belting out a battle song. Let's negotiate. The leader of the dwarves warrior speaks. What are you doing here? Did you get lost or something? It should be clear that these are dwarven lands, but no! All sorts of people still try to get in here. Well, spit it out. What are you here for? Do you want war? Or do you want to chump up with us? I offer you an alliance. <sighs> an alliance with long legs? Oh, was such a thing ever heard that dwarves and humans would chum up? That'll never happen. Although... Although what? Well... The thing is, we were robbed recently. And it was by none other than you damn humans. And they filched our axe. Not an ordinary one, but the king's golden pole axe. It's a relic made my beard withered and fall off. Well, me and my guys started after the dirty thieves, but how could we go hopping through the forest in full armor? Still we lost those sons of bitches. They sure as hell got the pole axe hidden somewhere in their lair. So if you go wipe out these scum and get our axe back, then... We can talk about an alliance for sure. I'll find your axe, don't worry. Found some ancient ruins. Three pack warriors. The hero Nessers has approached the ruins of the city of the ancients. Let's go ahead and beat them up. I think we can win. It'll be close. It'll be close. Remember that exorcism doesn't work on the gnolls. It'll just work on the imps. But we already have a shock, which is just as good as an exorcism. But we'll try it. Where do I want to set up? So if I set up here, they will be delayed in reaching me thanks to this swampland. And I don't have to worry about it too much because I'll be in the swamp. I have some hills I want as well. Let's stay like this and start. We'll summon a wolf to also help us. And that's good. Alright, boys. I don't see a need to do anything else at the moment. He's going to go one, two, one, two. One, two. And then he's going to want to attack the wolf. He'll probably want to assist in fighting the wolf. Let's move you here out of the swamp. Now, the wolf is totally going to be decimated. Actually, we can pull the wolf back and make him enter a swamp or the woods if he wants to actually attack the wolf. Rather than move up here and attack him right away, let's pull you back. Better think about this really good, Tim. You also should probably armor someone in preparation for this gentleman. Mm -hmm. 
We... He's probably going to move here, Tim. He might not. He might move there. It's not like he loses any more defense. Let's armor this guy. Okay. Here, here they are. So we need to deal with this guy right now. So what do you think? Throw spears at him to kill him? 21 hit points. No range defense. So that would be... Seven. Let's say six, just to be safe. Fifteen. Plus five. Ten. Oh, you might not kill him. Oh, it's going to be close, Tim. Going to be very close. Charge! Yep. Good, good work. Good work. <laughs> that is acceptable. I am willing to allow that to happen. Let's get you back on the hill, sir, for even more defense. Move you up. And we wait. How do I want to do this? I think I want you... Hmm. You're not gonna kill him unless you shock him if you want to move this guy back. I want to heal this guy while putting two attacks on him and without using the spell on my mage. But how could I shuffle them to do that? I can't. I can! I can. But it means that I have to let one of these guys take a big hit. I would have preferred this guy to stay here. So keep him there, Tim. Well, it doesn't matter. This guy, these if you move anyone else up to assist, and you have to, if you want to kill him without using a spell, then that means that you're going to take this guy's attack. You will want to ignore him. In other words, that 12 damage attack this Null does will be against the assister. I think we do it anyway. Let's do this. Oh crap! I didn't quite heal him, but it's okay. I, we will kill this guy, I hope. Heal yourself. Well done, Nesters. Plus one magic. Let's try to not take necromancy. Or we can take this later. I want more things that are helpful to him now. We will grab a point... Oh, no, let's grab Concentration 2. Wow, well, these are both useful. Thaumaturgy 1. Morale. Resistance. Attack. Attack. Uh, 
garbage. Kind of. We don't have any plate. We don't have any bracers, but this is for a warrior, obviously. The money's decent, though. Okay, Skilad, back to you and killing things. I think you can probably kill the Alcaro or the Hell Corhort. Or we could start setting up one of those bows. I would want to kill the slugs. Adventurers are killable by you. We still can't take the Goblin Lands. Not quite yet. Slave Drivers. We can kill the Slave Drivers with you. Let's get you up there. I will build the Nature's Cloister. Just to have it constructed. And then, down here, we'll build a pub. Two percent explored. Messengers from the province of Rainy Forest are asking you to build them a shrine to worship an ancient deity very important to them. I can't waste my resources on foolish things. So, they could be heretics, and they would build an altar and sacrifice babies on it. We could build the altar, in which case they would be happy, but I, I'd rather say I can't waste resources on these foolish things, because that's a neutral response. I don't have a risk of losing all that money for nothing, and it was also very expensive to do. 100 gems, 200 bucks, I don't have, I don't have that lying around. Okay, next, let's build a granary. Skirud, yeah, we'll head back home with you. Nesters, will keep exploring. Actually, Skirud, is there anything here we can kill? Not really. I mean, we can kill the Alcaro, but you're likely to lose a unit doing that. So, no. Oh, and Nestor's, you have two free uh, slots. Your power is greatly improved. Let's pull you back home to get to fill those. Uh, we should build a... Nope, can't build anything there. I don't want to build anything at home at the moment. Actually, that's a lie. I want to build lots of things, but I am not going to do so at the moment. In the province of Piorn Wood, your scouts have discovered the lair of the bandits who stole the Dwarven Relics. At last! Okay, so they're here. Bandits. It will be a tiff... A tiff? It'll be a difficult battle. Alright, Skirud. Let's give you back this unit. This guy's only level 1, but he's got a medal, so I kind of want him instead. No spells for you. You'll fight the slave drivers. I think you can win. Nesters, repair your equipment. That was dumb, actually. I should have sold that off. Let's have you... ...learn some spells. What are we, what are we sending you back here to fight? Anything? Actually, we can now give ne we can now give Nestor's another shock and another shock, and he'll be able to win the battle against the Death Servants here. Yes, he should be able to win that fight. Over here, we'll build a sawmill. Up to eight, back up to eighty bucks again and thirteen gems. Very nice amount of gems coming in. Um, let's actually build the barracks now. Because that will let us build some guards. And we will put some light infantry here. Mostly to protect us from the gnolls in case they want to attack us. Oh, troll swamps. Oh, and Land of the Dead are nearby. We'll want some... Oh, I guess this, this guard is a decent guard. If there's going to be ghosts here, though, that attack, that will be a complete loss. A Black Knight and Bone Spearman. Nestor says, please bury me in a cedar coffin. No, Nestor, you'll be fine. The hero Nestor approaches an ancient crypt. It looks like a burial vault of some ancient ruler or great warrior, and one is sure to find something valuable among the belongings of the deceased. And to encounter those guarding the peace of the dead as well. 
attack! Yes, we stay as far away from that knight as possible. He still can't reach us next turn. But we will use the exorcism. That has stunned him for two rounds. Which is useful. Because I can move up a bit now. Oh, sorry. He's not stunned. He just can't move. I think he... Oh, I think, Tim, he moves next round. And guess what? You didn't kill him. So you... You just lost someone. <laughs> yep, you just lost someone. Oh, you're gonna lose... You're gonna lose because you misplayed this. Completely. I, I, I hope you like your loss, Tim. Oh my god. This is so bad. How did I mess this up? I think this is a redo. This was badly played. And this is because I miscalculated how long... Yeah, so we, we have lost this. We have lost. That's a shame. Uh, surrender. Yes, battle was lost. It's because of Resurrectum. Uh, we're going to just retreat because I'm going to undo that turn. Into the past we go. No, no, loaf, no loafers. Into the past we go. All right, let's try that again, and this time with more feeling. We can win this fight, I just can't mess up my movement. That means no one moves up. Oof, sorry everyone, I saw the, I saw the two and thought I had an extra round, and I do not have an extra round against him. Oh my god, this, this guy's tough. Holy crap! What level is he? Level 10, Jesus. Okay, we won. We won. This is how the battle should have gone. Woo! It's a lot more like it when you don't mess up. Level 10 and level 9. Jesus. A good amount of spoils from that. Plus one magic. I don't see summoning or wand firing. Let's grab concentration 2. We'll take a... Stamina. Another healing gem is fine. Plus one attack. Uh, plus two morale. Plus one range attack. Leather boots. Those are slightly better than the boots that our scout currently is wearing. Good money on that. 213 and 17, but that is that's pretty trash for the battle. Kobold slave and slave driver. Six enemies. Probably five slaves and one slave driver. I think we can just win. Uh, we'll give you the hill, sir, and we'll stack our units like this. Yep. All right, so let's charge you up. Go ahead and phantom form. Because I don't care about about his stamina loss. Next. I guess we can start... Ooh. We can't kill one with a single shot. Tim. 
Protect the healer, please. Phantom form kill. All right, let's think. You will hit him. I'm gonna have to worry about him sooner or later. But I wouldn't mind chewing through more of these jerks. put more damage on my units. <laughs> Plus one stamina medal. You don't have one currently. Range attack. A uh, hit point. Raise Skeleton of Doom. We are taking necromancy now. On my mage, now that I have this, we also gained a Chaos Spawn Summon spell. 196 and 15 gems. I'll think about it. That's an amazing spell! That's an amazing spell. Okay. Skier, let's repair your equipment. Yep. Necromancy is on the menu. And Skira, with this much money... We might be able to afford a bow for a little more damage. Is there anything else he can kill? I mean, there's a few things he can kill, but not there. So many slugs. We need a better bow for slugs. We can probably kill the gang of robbers up there with Skirud. So let's send him up there to do that. Nesters, congratulations on your victory. That was ex oh, that was extremely close. Okay, it's plus one more hit point. We'll do it. You have another free spell slot. That's pointless for me to give you at the moment. Let's take another Summon Wolf. And probably should grab an Astral Energy and keep it with us. Not at the moment. Alright, Nesters. Let's... Build the Sorcerer's Workshop in order to afford some more items. Even though I want you as a wand user, you don't have any wand user at the moment. So we'll just get a short staff for you instead. And Skirad, we can give you a hat. Now, Nesters, you can't kill... Dark Skeletons are so tempting. But I don't have the DPS to do it before they're upon you. I would need the Exorcism and arguably two shocks to kill the skelet the Lord of the Undead. And that doesn't leave me with enough to kill the other Skeletons. So, you can't do that battle. Minotaurs are neutral. Adventurers, you can't really kill them. I guess we send you back up here. And you'll f try to fight that skeletal pack. You might be able to win now that you have three shocks and more spells with you. 
and Skilud can probably fight... Well, he's gonna fight the gang of robbers up here to start. And then maybe the Mosserologists after that. We'll see. Um, as for buildings... I think we'll be okay. I can't really build anything else anyway. Turn is it? 30. Okay. Skilud. Gang of robbers for you. Nesters. Skeletal pack for you. And at home. Nothing. I want the money to afford a better bow. We should be saving for that. So we'll do that instead. Oh, but hold on. Uh, okay, yep, let's do it. Here Nessus approaches an ancient crypt. It looks like a burial vault of some ancient ruler or great warrior, and one is sure to find something valuable among the belongings of the deceased. And to encounter those guarding the peace of the dead as well. Five enemies, Necromancer and Narna. We'll do this. Exorcism does not work on him. And he'll probably summon skeletons, though, that are, are whatchamacallit, can work on. Let's be careful as well, Tim. His range is five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Don't move up too much. I forgot he can just throw a unit up there like that. Let's pull you back. That was a gigantic mistake. Okay. This is when things start going wrong. job is just to get in the way of the Narna. Did no damage? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, man, this is bad. Your morale is nothing. He's got one ammo left on him. All right, let's try to get some morale back for you, sir. I think you're still dead, unfortunately, sir. Yep, still dead. That's a shame. You had a metal too, Tim. Well, it's the risk of going after a necromancer. No, no other spells will be needed. No other spells should be needed. Hello. It's the necromancer. Let's do something like this to start. Here, kill this, kill this one. decent damage. Alright, well done. Lost a level 6 with a medal, though. That's a shame. Uh, stamina. Stamina's 14. Give you a range attack. Leather jacket. 
Really? <laughs> trash. We get trash. This is purchased from the the first building we made when we were on the shard. Provided allowed us to buy a leather jacket for ten bucks. <laughs> They're guarding nothing. Four enemies, Brigade and Gang Leader. Scared says enemy is doomed. I agree with that sentiment. The enemy is indeed doomed. And by weakening them, and then you guys will move like this. Okay. Let's phantom form. And that's good. Yeah, please throw yourself into them. Seven hit points left. You know, I've never really used Phantom Form before, and I'm actually really surprised at how efficient it is at delaying the enemy. Hits. Let's heal that. Now he'll be more or less stuck to fighting this guy. Because he can't get around him to attack anyone else. Yeah! That's amazing! Good work, Phantom Form. Of course, it's expired at the end of this round. Kill him. Well done. Plus one command. And I see a bunch of things I like. We'll grab Scouting 2 for that raise false alarm, which you guys know I want him to have as a ranger. So let's take that. Although another 20% looting would be helpful. No, we'll take Scouting 2. You will take a stamina plus one. You will get an attack, resistance, range defense, sphere of knowledge, okay, an orb for our wand in the future, 164 and four gems. And that is enough money, I think, to purchase a, a bow. So let's send you back. Oh, uh, hold on, your nesters. You lost a unit, we, we, I need you back here anyway. Skirud, you have another point of command. We'll send you back. <laughs> um, at home, we'll build a shooting... Mm, how much money are you making each turn, Tim? Don't build anything. Alright, Skirud. Prepare your equipment, head into the archery store, and see what is for sale. And for troops, you'll take the level f uh, Do I really need another one of them? What else am I going to use? I don't have any level 2s unlocked yet. A bowman. Let's, let's go to the archery store first. Nesters. Don't need that piece of crap. We'll repair the orb for you in the future. Actually, we could... Well, he doesn't have any wand mastery, Tim. You've been taking everything but... But that sort of thing. Let's go to the sorcery store with him as well. And at home... Uh, 
Uh, we'll hold on to our rest of our cash. Let's see what happens to us. Nestor's is first. Let's enter the shop. Let's make a special order. Look at the goods. And the only thing I can purchase is a sorcerer's wand for 228 and 39. I think it's worth it for him. We know we're going to want him using a wand in the future. Of course, that will take away the money for our archer. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Now that I'm here looking at it, I don't know if I actually want it. Not right now, Tim. We'll have Skidon into the shop, look at the goods, and he can afford whatever it is I want him to have with the exception of Springled. Oh wow, that's cheap. I should have bought the Sorcerer's Wand. Well, we could pick up two bows. We could get the Bandit's Bow for Actually, the Bandit's Bow is an upgrade in every way imaginable, right? The range does not decrease. We gain plus two more attack. The Nomad Bow, we also gain plus two attack, but we lose one range, but we pick up extra ammo. So it's kind of a side grade to the Bandit's Bow. And again, we could get both. The Bennett's Bow for my normal means, and for long battles against, like, guards, we could pick up the, the Nomad Bow. Let's do that. And I did have enough to buy the Sorcerer's Wand, but we can do that later, I suppose. Sorry about that, Nesters. But you need to come back here anyway for a unit. We'll give you level four. Stick that guy in there. And now what? Actually, I probably should stop here, everyone. Yeah, so let's stop here. And actually, we'll end the turn first. Let's build the shooting ground. Because that will let me build a, bo a higher a bowman. And Skirod will head down here to do battle against the bandits. Nesters can probably come over here and try to fight the adventurers. But he'll need different spells for that fight. Shock is going to be useless there. So we can take a, a summon wasp swarm. An enchanted fang. And the cat's reflexes. Actually, we get that vulnerability spell here. We can take that. I said over there to do the battle against that. So, it is turn 33. We are probably what I would consider finally to be in the mid game or the early stages of it. We have a level, so Nestor's gained, he was level one, I think. So he gained three levels, and he's halfway up to another, to another level. And Skirod gained three levels. We have a better bow for him now, besides what we started with, and we vendored off our longbow. We picked up an extra bow for him for sieges when we need it. He's looking really good as well. He's got a decent sized army here. 
and Nestor's is looking okay. We also did, however, he's kind of scattered in everything he's taking. My plan will be to take summoning, necromancy, and or wand mastery whenever I see those show up now. I'm done taking points in these other things. But I don't view this as a waste. Magic power helped us when we fought the undead. And Thaumaturgy will be helpful in the future, as I'm putting new spells and curses on enemies, something like vulnerability. And Concentration will also be helpful, so it's not like I've wasted points. Haven't seen any Wisdom show up. That's a bit odd for him. Uh, for, for Mage. In any, in any case, uh, I think things are so far still looking good. Once we have the Dwarves as allies, I will, if we can see some metal here, we'll try to take it. And then I think it's time to kill the Goblins here. And then push into the Deadly Swamps and take the Mandrake route. But we'll do that next episode. Thank you for watching everyone, and take care.